Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Sunday, September 18th, 2011, and taking a look here at the QQQs, which is the NASDAQ 100. Very tech heavy index, uh, looking strong here, uh, clearing uh, up above all the key moving averages here now uh, this week. Uh, five straight up days. Uh, on some pretty good volume here towards the end of the week. Of course, Friday was triple witching hour, which uh, will give you more volume, but uh, this is still very impressive. I did draw along the line the previous tops here, and you can see that we're coming into possible overhead resistance just up ahead uh, in the $57 range here. But uh, nonetheless, clearing the major averages, uh, here's the 10 week, uh, the green is the 20 week, and the black is the 40 week. So a very impressive move. Um, we have been very volatile, zigzagging quite a bit uh, with, with some high volatility. Um, when you get a five point uh, uh, move uh, in, in this index, that represents about 10%. So um, <clears throat> this is a, a you know, very volatile uh, market right now. And moving on now to the S&P 500, which is more of a large cap weighted index here. Uh, we can see not, not as good of a story. Um, this is a weekly chart, and here is the blue line, the 10-week moving average. Uh, finding resistance last week, even though it was up almost 5% for the week, um, with this volatility still not able to get above uh, this first uh, key moving average, which is pointed uh, down sharply. And then up ahead here is, of course, the uh, 10 and 20 week moving averages here. So um, still a bearish configuration for the uh, general market if you look at, at the uh, S&P 500. And here is the Russell 2000, um, the small caps, uh, even a worse story, um, not even uh, getting up to the 10-week uh, moving average that's sloping uh, very uh, actively down here, uh, although we did have a 6% rise this week, but um, it's uh, pretty much uh, par for the course in the volatility uh, in the zigzag patterns that we're having. And here is the uh, the mega cap uh, Dow uh, industrial average, and it was up 4.7 percent. Uh, still not able to clear its 10-week moving average. Bearish configurations, um, and the 10-week pointed down along with the um, the 20 and the 40-week. So uh, Dow not looking good as well. And looking at overseas markets with the uh, EEM, the emerging markets, uh, they gained 1.3%, the weakest of all, uh, far below the 10-week moving average, uh, below all the key moving averages which are sloping down. So um, foreign shares not looking strong. And here's the financial sector. This is the XLF, uh, looking weak as well, even though it was up 5.5%, uh, still far below the 10-week uh, moving average. Everything pointed down. So, um, you know, sharp rally last week, but uh, still um, markets looking weak. Uh, the uh, tech heavy um, NASDAQ 100, the strongest looking of them all. And looking now at gold, um, we can see that it came uh, uh, down, got near the 10 week moving average, which is respected on its, on its massive move up since July. Um, almost got down to there, but then rallied sharply up off it, closing uh, um, on Friday um, up. Uh, um, had a couple uh, solid days here uh, towards the end of the week. So still managing to lose 2.4% on the week. But gold holding above its 10-week moving average. All the moving averages stacked above each other. Um, a more bullish configuration. Gold still looking strong. And here's a look at silver. Uh, down 1.85% for the week. But holding here, getting support here at its 10-week moving average, which crossed above the 20-week moving average uh, here a few weeks ago. Um, Shaping a nice cup uh, uh, pattern here, possible handle forming right here, clearing 44.28 would be a very bullish sign for silver. And looking now at some of the uh, monster stocks, um, this is uh, Apple, of course, the monster of the monsters, up 6.1% uh, last week, forming a cup shape based here, and uh, closed at $400.50, uh, the highest close ever for Apple, uh, despite uh, uh, Steve Jobs resigning. And uh, so Apple uh, forming a nice uh, cup-shaped pattern here. It is a late stage base. Um, I believe this is either a fourth or fifth stage base. Uh, you like to uh, buy bases, uh, breakouts of bases on volume, uh, uh, a first or second stage base. So this is really late in the game here, uh, which uh, will have added risk um, buying a breakout. But nonetheless, uh, Apple looking strong. And looking at the mighty Baidu, um, up 2.3% for the week, um, forming another base after a failed breakout from a cup with handle base uh, back here in uh, July. And um, 
This is a late stage base again. Um, you know, we're late to the party on these. They had big runs uh, uh, during this bull market. And, uh, but this is a cup, and uh, here's your handle here. And uh, we did get a close above the blue line, which is the 10 week moving average, a very nice sign. Uh, you'll notice down here that volume has been falling off. Uh, I'd like to see a volume increase uh, as we uh, um, come up on the right side of the base here, but that's not happening. Late stage base, nonetheless, a nice cup shaping up with Baidu. And here is uh, Lululemon, uh, up almost 5% for the week, um, <clears throat> forming another base here. Late stage base again. This was a wild base on the left side. Uh, real wild swings here. Came all the way down here to the 40 week moving average. Bounced up off. And you'll notice that it's tightening up. The closes are a lot tighter together, which is a nice sign as this base carves out the right side of this cup. And looking at another monster here, here's Priceline.com. Up almost 1% uh, this last week. Um, forming a base on base pattern here. Here's a cup. Here's your handle. Uh, with a potential buy point if it clears the top of this handle. Um, Priceline.com, uh, high priced, uh, almost $550 for this stock. But uh, Priceline firming up. So just to recap, uh, the general markets are iffy. Uh, we're coming up into overhead resistance levels on the general markets, although we did rally five straight days in a row. Very impressive week. But you get that in weak markets. You get good, strong bounces. So uh, I'm still waiting to see if we really can solidify and get above uh, some key moving averages on, on the S&P 500, uh, the Dow Industrials, and the NASDAQ. Um, I am seeing some of the uh, pr uh, former monster stocks firming up and shaping solid bases here, although most of them are late stage bases, uh, which carry extra added risk. As far as new leadership, uh, I'm going to be looking into the, um, uh, the gold and silver mining stocks as potential new leadership uh, into maybe the next phase of a bull market here. Um, that will be in a report for uh, paid subscribers. So thanks for watching.